Hello. So in the last video, we have created our database using the WAMP server uh, using phpMyAdmin. So the next thing that we will do is to connect our database to our website using, of course, PHP. So to do it, first, as usual, we're going to open our WAMP server. Wait for the go signal, which is the green color. After which, we're going to click our icon, WAMP icon, and select www directory so in the www directory we are going to cre create here our folder so we're going to create a new folder and we're going to name it as connection db or connection database after creating our folder, we're going to double click it and inside our created folder, we will create a text document okay. and we're going to edit it. So as I've said, we're going to use PHP server-side scripting language to connect our website to our database so for the basic syntax of PHP is this one an opening tag and a closing tag you could search for the basics of PHP in other websites or in Google or you could also uh, refer to ww3schools okay so for now our main concern is to connect our database using php so we have a built-in function in php which is my sq sqli underscore connect followed by an open and close parenthesis inside the, our parenthesis we will have three variables namely the name of our server since we are using a WAMP server or Apache server installed in our computer the name of our server is localhost that's our first parameter next is our username again our username is root and the last parameter would be our password so since we did not use any password we will leave it blank and don't forget to end a PHP line with the semicolon so this is one common way of connecting to our created database mysql i underscore connect is a built-in function uh, previously uh, we could see functions such as mysql underscore connect but that is already deprecated it is no longer supported that's why we are using mysqli i which stands for improve there are also other ways in uh, connecting to our database using php we have the pdo style you may want if you are interested you may search it in google but for now we are going to use mysqli so let's First, save our code. So, 
file save as okay so we're going to change the save type as to all files and i'm going to give it a file name connection db dot php so never forget our file extension is dot php because this is a php script and our save as type is always all files after that we're going to click save so to run our script or code we are going to our icon wamp icon and click localhost so if you notice in our interface in our localhost you could see there our created folder connection db this connection db is created or is residing in the www directory folder so we are going to click it if you experience this problem you could solve it by simply adding the word localhost and a forward forward slash to fix it now we could now see our php file which is connection db.php to run it we are going to simply click it so there will be nothing to show but this means that our connection to our database is successful now we also have a built-in function just to show if we encountered any error in connecting to our database so let's go back to our script so that one built-in function is mysqli underscore connect underscore error so this will show whatever error we encounter in connecting to our database to show this one we are going to use echo echo in php means print or display something so for now we are going to display the result of my sqli connect underscore error so i'm going to uh make a mistake here by adding a letter e to our server name so that makes it wrong and i'm going to save it so after saving it i'm going to refresh our browser yeah. so there we could see that we have encountered an error the error said that no such host is known why because we have changed the name of our server into localhost with e if i'm going to remove e i'm going to correct our server name and save it again if i'm going to refresh it there will be no ever again so for us to see or to uh, <clears throat> display or to show how this works we could use an if statement so if statement is one of your conditional statements that was discussed to you in your previous subjects programming fundamentals so I'm just going to add an if statement here so I'm going to remove echo and replace it with if and I'm going to follow the syntax of if so now this will be my condition if my SQL connect error will be true I will display using the word echo 
I will just tell the user there was an error connecting to the database. Okay. Else, I'm going to echo. Database connection successful. And there, we have completed our if else statement. If the condition is true, there will be a message saying that there was an error connecting to the database. If there is no error, it will show database connection successful. So we're going to try it. Simply save it and refresh our browser. So there we have it database connection successful. So to try our if else more, I'm going to generate a mistake again and save it. And I'm going to refresh it again. So there we have it. There was an error connecting to the database. So again, we didn't we do not show this message message in a real <coughs> web deployment, but we are just uh, showing how this mysql underscore connect error could be used together with the if else statement in troubleshooting later on your connection to your database it's not uh, it is not good to publicly display errors in our connection because we might show the client information in a public website informations that are used in connecting to our database so again as we are discussing important details should not be uh, be shown publicly so there we have it we are ready to create an interactive website so to do that we must be able to access data from our database so that we could update or edit that data. Okay, so again, I've just corrected the name of our server. And just to make sure if the database is successful, the database connection is successful. So there we have it.